This is the instructional video for our Timesheets Invoices Spreadsheet by Spreadsheets Pro. So the Timesheet Invoice Workbook consists of a summary sheet and a tab for each individual week of the year. Populating this area of the workbook will fill in the details you have on each sheet so you don't have to do that 52 times and then the grand totals and detail from each of these sheets gets fed back in to the summary table at the bottom. You have a total for each week, for each month and also a grand total for the entire year at the bottom. So to begin with this is just filled in with example information just so that this is filled in. So if we have a look here, the company name is Example Limited. And you can see at the top of each timesheet it says Example Limited, but if we were to change that to Spreadsheets Pro, we can see that now it says Spreadsheets Pro on the top of each tab. The same happens for each of these. Once you've filled in that information, you can go ahead and start populating each of the timesheets. So to fill in the timesheet, what you need to do is just fill in start and finish times of when you started for the day, your lunch break, any mileage that you've done, and any expenses and that is it. You, If you try and change anything else you'll get a message saying you can't do it. If you wanted to change the name or the date or anything that needs to be done on this front sheet, actually you cannot change the date, you must click on the correct tab for which uh, week you're working on. So let's say for example on Monday the 1st of January you started at 7 in the morning there's a message here to remind you to fill in in the 24 hour uh, format. So for 7 in the morning, you would do 07 colon 00. And then if you finished at 4 o'clock, you need to do 16 00. And it's saying that we did not have a lunch break. So if we wanted to add a lunch break in, we can put in, say, our lunch break started at 12.30 and finished at 1 o'clock fill that information in. So now it's calculated that we had a half hour lunch break and that has deducted the lunch break from the total for the day. Same happens for each of the days of the week. The mileage, simply put in the total mileage you've had for the week. So if you put in 100 miles, that says for 100 miles travelled at 15 pence a mile the charge out is £15. So if you wanted to change that rate, that needs to be done on the summary sheet. So say if you wanted it to be 20 pence a mile, that's now changed and that'll change in every single sheet. So it just needs to be set once. Same for the hourly rate. So if we were to fill in the rest, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to put it in for the rest of the week. So that's calculated that I've worked a 42 and a half hour week at £30 an hour. So if I wanted to change that rate, once again you go to the summary sheet and there's the labour charge at rate. So if we change that to £25 an hour, that's changed there. Let's change the, um, the grand total as well. And once again, that will have changed on every single sheet. The expenses, once again, you just type this in. So, say if you have £30 expenses, put that in. All these totals, mileage, labour and expenses, get summarised here for the grand total. And then the total for that week will feed back onto the summary sheet. 
Now the invoice numbers have already been generated and these invoice numbers will appear on the top of each invoice timesheet. But let's say for example you're on holiday for a week so you'll want your um, invoice number to stop and then continue um, after you've got back from your break. So say for example you're on holiday for this week if you weren't, if you were to keep those serial numbers, your the invoices you would submit would go from suddenly from number eight to number thirteen, because these wouldn't be submitted. So all you need to do is highlight any that you are away on holiday for, press delete, and the serial number for the invoices will just skip past. So it goes from eight to nine there in that example. So this is quite a basic example of what a timesheet invoice workbook can do. Um, we can modify this workbook to however you wanted it. So for example you might want to have more than one labour charge out rate depending on whether you're working overtime or weekends or something. Um, you might need to have the VAT treated differently. Um, you might need this to be for more than one person. However you can imagine it we can change it. So. At the top of our workbook, we've got our contact details there. Here's our email address, team at spreadsheets.pro. You can click that, It'll email us, or visit our website at www.spreadsheets.pro. Um, I hope you found this instructional video useful. Please get in touch if you need any more information or, or any help getting started with this workbook.